Kanye West has finally spoken out about the scandal surrounding his ex-wife Kim Kardashian and the designer firm Balenciaga. It appears that Kim's disturbing connection to Balenciaga goes much further than we believe, as she is already facing tremendous outrage for her response to the brand's revolting ad campaign involving youngsters. What exactly did Kanye say Kim disclosed to Balenciaga in exchange for her soul? Uh, uh, a lot of chemistry that's been coming out and things that I'll tell, things I, I told Kim this yesterday, I said, look, any form of perversion is bad in God's eyes. Any form of pornography, like... It You've undoubtedly heard by now that high-end designer Balenciaga has come under fire for troubling ad campaigns that have featured young models and other vulnerable populations. And before we get into all that, remember that Balenciaga recently witnessed a big revival after its creative director and close friend of Kim Kardashian Dimna said Balenciaga's first couture show since 1968. Today, Balenciaga Haute Couture, a document for fashion history. Dimna Vasalia at work. The first haute couture show from the house of Balenciaga since February 1968. This is no ordinary fashion show. Damda, who was previously only associated with streetwear, saw an overnight rise to fame when Hollywood Listers endorsed his heart staple line, the new brand is Balenciaga, and Kim Kardashian is largely responsible for that. Kim's active promotion of Balenciaga began shortly after she filed for divorce from Kanye, and the two events have some interesting parallels. Kim, a mother of four, was expected to take a stand when Balenciaga was embroiled in a scandal involving the use of occult imagery and children after the brand was caught in the crosshairs of widespread criticism. Instead, Kim's response was not only disappointing but disturbing. And maybe it has something to do with Kanye's recent remarks about celebrities selling their souls for fame and Hollywood sacrifices. First, a quick summary of everything sinister that Balenciaga was called out on before we get to Kim's reaction. In early November, Balenciaga released a series of disturbing photographs for their new gift shop advertising campaign. The pictures showed young children posing with teddy bears in bondage and shocking props. A child's artwork of the devil and a roll of yellow caution tape with Balenciaga misspelled as Baal, the name of a fertility demon and one of Hell's princes, were among the more unsettling accessories. If you thought the teddy bear picture shoe was disturbing, you haven't seen anything yet from Balenciaga's recent ad for their partnership with Adidas. One ad had a handbag from the line resting on top of a stack of paperwork. One of the documents was kept badly covered on purpose, and when you zoomed in, you could make out language referring to the United States against Williams case from the 2008. Now, if you're still wondering what the big deal is with this court case, let an attorney fill you in. Versus Michael Williams. Michael was in a chat room under the name of Lisa and Miami. He then started up a conversation with another individual who was actually a Secret Service agent, where he ultimately sent a link containing seven photos of child pornography. Nonetheless, this is not the end. In fact, things only get more unsettling from here on out. Internet sleuths have uncovered a slew of fresh troubling details about employees working for Balenciaga after Valencia's recent campaign went viral for all the wrong reasons. Lada Vakova, a Russian-born stylist who has been Balenciaga's head stylist since 2014, is one of these individuals. However, fans were able to take screenshots of some of the photos from Lada's Instagram before she locked it, so before we show you the photos, please keep in mind that some of them are extremely creepy. Lada recently locked her Instagram profile and deleted over 200 photos, many of which featured children in all kinds of dark and creepy imagery. Since the aesthetic of the campaign matches the photos Lada shares on Instagram, many fans are now speculating that Lada was involved in Valencia's recent campaign, but the deeper you dig, the worse it gets. Take this picture from the Balenciaga and Adidas ad campaign and notice the framed diploma behind the model. The name John Philip Fisher appears on the diploma. This is the name of an 80-year-old man who was convicted in 2018 of seven counts of misconduct against his granddaughter. If you look closely at another photo from the campaign, you can see that one of the books on the table behind the woman is by Michael Borman. 
Borman is a Belgian painter and filmmaker whose surreal works often incorporate strange rituals and children. Borman has recently completed a series of paintings titled Fire from the Sun, and the publisher of the book, including these works, characterizes them as follows. Fire from the Sun highlights Michael Borman's new work, which features toddlers engaged in playful but mysterious acts with sinister overtones and insinuations of. Now, compare the Balenciaga clothing worn by Kim Kardashian and her kids to some of the paintings by Borman in this collection. There are far too many unconnected events that have led to this point for supporters not to speak out and sever TIs with Balenciaga. Kim did not immediately condemn Balenciaga, instead remaining silent for almost a week. Even after Balenciaga pulled their disgusting campaign, Kim continued sharing selfies of herself decked out in Balenciaga and Adidas from head to toe. Kim stated she is presently reevaluating her relationship with Balenciaga based on the company's willingness to accept responsibility for an incident that should never have occurred. Kim said she was appalled by the recent Balenciaga ad campaigns, but she appreciated the brand for retracting the offensive images and issuing an apology. After our conversation, I am certain that they will take the steps needed to ensure that this never happens again. Fans were disappointed by Kim's response, and the news that she was considering ending her contract with Balenciaga sparked rumors that she had sold her soul to the devil in exchange for fortune and notoriety. Kim's followers were quick to comment, with one remarking, don't act innocent. You know fine and well what they have been up to and you fully support it. I wouldn't be surprised if you sold your kids' souls to them. Anyone who is outraged by these wouldn't be reevaluating their relationship. It would end there and then. This isn't something merely the fans are saying, though. Kanye has recently spoken out on the Balenciaga controversy, claiming that the reason celebrities are remaining silent is because they are controlled. Uh, uh, a lot of imagery that's been coming out and things that I'll tell things I, I told Kim just yesterday, I said, look, any form of perversion is bad in God's eyes. Any form of pornography, like it. Leave your thoughts on Kim's relationship with Balenciaga in the comments below. Did you find her response surprising? Do you believe she sold her soul to the devil in exchange for fame and fortune? Don't forget to subscribe for more hot tea.